House and County deputies still searching for a man who led them on a chase, caused a wreck, and then ran away. Kayla Solomon joins us live to break down a hectic day for officers in both Houston and Pulaski counties. Frank Lieutenant Brian Blanton with the Houston County Sheriff's Department says it all began around 9 a.m. on Thursday morning. They went to a home in Kathleen where Mr. Frederick Hiller lived, and he was the one that did not get served the arrest warrant that he was supposed to be served. This was the scene on Thursday morning along Highway 247 in Hawkinsville. Just less than an hour after Houston County deputies showed up at Frederick Harrell's house to arrest him for aggravated stalking. He was outside the residence close to his vehicle uh, when they pulled in. He saw them. He got in the car and, or the truck. It's a Tahoe, Chevy Tahoe and he fled southbound on Highway 247. The chase continued down 247 into Hawkinsville and a Georgia State Patrol officer joined in. And I heard on the radio, um, Houston County, they asked for assistance on a chase, a vehicle that they were trying to stop. That's when Fetchick says he took the lead on the chase, but he couldn't do the usual pit maneuver to stop Harold. And he was pulling a trailer, so we can't do a pit on a trailer because it would just spin the trailer out. The vehicle would still be going. So he got in front of the Tahoe and slowed down to make Harold stop. But instead, he says Harold tried to pass. The shoulder was a little bit slanted, so his vehicle started to slide. And that's when his front of his vehicle made contact with the side of my vehicle. And once, once he hit my vehicle, he began to roll numerous times and crash. Harold managed to escape his SUV and run into the woods and had several agencies looking for hours. Now the search for Harold in Pulaski County was suspended earlier this afternoon, but the House and County Sheriff's Department says they're still looking for tips and following any leads they have here in Houston County. Live in Houston County, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. All right, thank you, Kayla. Lieutenant Blanton says anybody with information is asked to call the Houston County Sheriff's Office at 478-542-2080.